good birth. Discouragement can crush your dreams and aspirations. But if you take a deep breath and look into God, He will communicate to you the accurate words to release this heaviness. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, without a job, I feel I have no purpose. I know that there is a purpose you have given to me and I desire a job where I can fulfill this purpose. Just as you look at the sparrows and the lilies, I know that you will attend to me so much more. Help me to remember not to worry or stress about finding work, but instead you have allowed me to ask for my daily bread and have the faith that you will provide it. May I look expectantly to a new day tomorrow with its possibilities. I acknowledge that all my competitive abilities come from you. Everything that I am and all that I do is ultimately for you. It is compact for me to bear with others and see me fail. Let me use this loss to increase my dependence on you and not to give up. Brace my body and sharpen my skills so that I can achieve my goals. While I did not obtain the result I wanted, the success I longed for cannot be found in my performance alone. I will continue to experience my satisfaction in you alone. Your word says not to worry about tomorrow, but I cannot help but feel anxious about finances. Remind me that you are my provider. Remind me that everything in the world belongs to you. Nudge me that my true treasure is in heaven and cannot be taken away from me. In this time, teach me contentment and help me to trust that you recognize what I need and that you can provide. As the psalmist states, grant me neither poverty nor riches. Help me to undeniably experience your love. Your word states that your love is beyond comprehension. I feel so alone, Lord. Aid me to hold on to the truth that you are near to me. I want to overcome these feelings of loneliness. Give me love and an understanding of others. Let me find a community of your people where I can belong. Lord Jesus, you comprehend what it is like to feel lonely, but you also knew that you were never alone because the Father was with you. Thank you that you are with me, just as the Father was with you. Dear God, I know nothing in all creation could ever separate me from the love of Christ. In the face of rejection, help me to take joy in that truth. You have not rejected me. You have accepted me. My worth comes from my identity as your child, which came through believing in your Son, not from anything or anyone else. You cherished me and selected me in Christ to be holy and without faults in your eyes. Enable me to be grounded in my heavenly citizenship 
accepted by you. I take joy in you, the God who loves me. My Father, I am struggling with motivation and feel like I have failed again at trying to get fit. You say in your word that physical training is of value. However, my actions have not reflected that instructions. Let me remember to first train in godliness, which is far above more valuable, so that I may also train my body well. Even so, help me to seek to do all things, knowing that I am already accepted, just as I am through the cross of Christ. Father, I am having a challenging time with someone and I do not know how to navigate my relationship with them. Please help me to be patient and value him as you do. Help me to make the efforts to grow in my relationship with this person. Open my eyes and mind so I can understand this person more better. Help us mend our differences and grow closer to each other. I know how good and pleasant it is when your people live together in unity. I confess my pride is wounded. I am tempted to tolerate this criticism as an attack on my worth. I need your help to imitate Paul in the way he received criticism and responded with grace. Keep me from my pride. My worth is from you and not from others. Bluster my security in that truth. Allow me not to resort to harsh words, but reply with meekness and grace. Grant me the wisdom to respond constructively and in a way that honors the life to which you have entitled me to. Suit me to know that nothing said to me can change my status with you. Sovereign God, you are the God who knows the beginning from the end. You know that I have organized and made plans which have now come to nothing. In my disappointment with these cancelled plans, I need to be reminded of your goodness already present in my life. I will meditate on your word, which reminds me that the steps of an excellent man are directed by the Lord. You are my comfort. You are my hope. You are my work in uncertainty. You are my hope in discouragement. This uncertainty will not last and I trust that even more you are sure of what the future holds for me. You reminded the prophet Habakkuk, so prompt me even though the fig tree does not blossom, I will be glad in the God of my salvation. Make my feet like a deer and let them tread in high places. It is rigid to trust in the hard times, but grant me the faith to do so. You are my steadfast rock. My certainty is in Jesus, my cornerstone. Dear God, I have invested 